Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Uh, I was uh, talking to an older guy, and when I say older guy, he was probably 15 years older than me here just recently, and I wanted to uh, share this story with you guys um, before I forget it. And uh, what me and this old guy were talking about was uh, sort of the unique architecture uh, or layout of uh, the old houses around here. And uh, our area goes back uh, quite a ways, well over a hundred years, and uh, there was a couple of unique features in probably 80% of the houses around here. And because I've lived here um, my entire life, I have had an opportunity to be in a bunch of different houses over the years, and it is something that to this day, even though people have remodeled and done stuff over the years, this is still prevalent in a lot of the homes around here. And uh, one is a basement. Um, all the old houses all had some kind of basement in them because your basement was your refuge. Your basement was your um, storehouse. It was your place to go if there was a storm. It was where you put up your canned goods. And it is also where you did a lot of your canning. Canning um, is hot and long tiring work and a lot of the old timers would have a spot basically like a second kitchen down in their basements where they would do their canning. The more uh, the more modern homes would have hookups for gas and electricity, just like my house. My house was built in the uh, 40s, and I have a gas and electric hookup down in the basement because at one point in time, from what I've been told, there was a kitchen down there. But a lot of the old um, farmhouses would have the ability, either with gas or electric or the real older ones, they would have a cook stove that would tie into the um, chimney so they would have a place where they could can in the summer heat down in the basement. So they could beat the heat and uh, it wasn't uh, so hot. Another thing, the old timers, a lot of them would can outside. And uh, I remember one particular time, it was actually uh, a few days after September 11th, my mom got a whole bunch of uh, pears and she wanted to can pears. And because we had so much of them and it was actually so warm uh, that week after September 11th, me and my mom stood outside and peeled and uh, canned pears put the syrup on them and uh, we hot water bath pears you know for like two days straight because uh because of the weather to get out of the heat you know um not to build up more heat in the house but almost all the old farmhouses around here had some type of kitchen in the basement from uh the real big you know upstairs with five bedroom farmhouses to the smaller even ranch style houses that had a basement they all had a kitchen in the basement and it's a unique part of the architecture around here that you just don't see anymore when people are designing new houses they don't think about putting a second um, uh, kitchen down in the basement basically to put up food you know it comes from that self-sufficient um, mindset and lifestyle that people lived you know a hundred years ago around here because canning was a huge part of your summer activities and uh, that's the best way to do it so you could stay cool and uh, not heat the entire house up while you were doing it another thing with canning and I see that from different uh, YouTubers too that I know when they talk about canning and stuff a lot of people do canning at night and uh, that was another thing in the evening and after the sun would go down a lot of canning was done then too I can remember lots of times I'd be up till you know 11 12 1 o'clock in the morning helping my mom and uh, grandma can because it beat the uh, heat of the day but anyway there was just one of those uh, old time stories here uh, talking about uh, you know, sort of the unique uh, way that the old timers did things and uh, sort of the intelligent way that they had uh, things laid out and had their homes laid out specifically for self-sufficiency. But anyway, it's a modern refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information and a little entertainment out of this video here. Not really a, a skills video or anything, just uh, kind of reminiscing about the old times and how the old timers did stuff. Anyway, you guys have a good one.